over the past 10 years, I've done stand-up comedy in over 50 countries, so obviously I've had lovers all over the world. People ask me sometimes, like, who are your favorite guys? What countries are the best? So today, I'm going to tell you, this is my geography. It's like geography, but for gay guys. And I'm only really talking about my experience as a gay man. So straight women, you might not necessarily identify with this, but isn't it fun to just judge those men? And for all my hot gay fans, you also might not understand this video. You'll just be like, what do you mean? Like when I just want to fuck someone, I fuck them and they always want to fuck me. <laughs> That's so sweet. You have abdominal muscles and you've never had to develop a personality like me. <laughs> Canadians. Canadian men are pussies and dumbasses, and they can only talk about hockey. Oh, gee, yeah, hey, man, did you see when the left wing passed the goalie and he should have been on offense, but he was on defense? Wow, my brain feels so full. United Stadians. There are so many different kinds of people that live in the United States, but I'd have to say my top three are Texas hipsters, New York Jews, and all those sexy Cubans and Puerto Ricans, like in Miami and Puerto Rico, and they're just all sexy and Latino. Mexicans. Mexicans are sweet. I'm always like, all right, let's eat some tacos and get it on. The English. English guys are usually really smart and funny, like they're really good conversationalists, but I find them very like status obsessed, like they care so much about what part of England you're from and what class and society you are, and that just is a big turn off for me, like I'm from a socialist country. I believe in equality. The Scottish. Scottish guys are really fun, really cool guys, except they drink so much. So you always have to find this really specific part in the night where you can get them home before they get too drunk that they have whiskey dick. The Irish. The Irish guys are so nice and so sweet. I could just stare into their blue eyes and hear all their folksy, sweet little tales about the troubles. <sighs> the French. I know some lovely Frenchmen, but based on my experience living in Paris for a month, they were all just sort of pissy little bitches with like OCD, like everything had to be done their way. It was always like, oh, oh, il faut pas faire ça. It's like, shut up, I'll do what I want. The exception being black French guys. Black French guys are so hot. They have all the sexiness of like the romantic French vibe, but then also the sexiness of like hot manly black guys and they're together. And it's just like, whoa, that is a lot of man. <laughs> Ooh la la. The Dutch. Dutch men are super shallow and arrogant and they're gonna be really mean to you. Like they'll just say something horrible to you and you'll be like, how could you say that? And they'll be like, what is the problem? I am just being honest. I'm Dutch. I'm like, no, you're just an asshole. Germans. I have a very mixed relationship with German men. Like, they're very good at sex, very efficient. I think they're really smart, they can be really cool, but I find that sometimes the German men don't really understand my sense of humor. And let's face it, if you don't find me funny, you don't find me in your bed. Italians. Okay, I know there are a lot of hot Italian guys out there, but based on my personal experience, I always found that the Italians were always like all talk and no action. Hey, a baby, baby, I'm gonna make a love to you. I'm gonna make a love to you. I love you, a baby. And then they always just end up being these like weird, obsessive, neurotic, hypochondriacs with horrible personalities. And they don't even know how to kiss. Like they're so bad at sex. I'm gonna kiss you. I'm gonna kiss you. And their kisses are like this. <laughs> Fuck off, you little lasagna. The Flemish. Flemish guys are nice. Slovenians. Slovenian guys are lovely. The problem is there's so few of them. Like there's a there's only like two million in the whole world. So to find the gay ones, it's like a needle in a Slovenian haystack. Croatians. Well, I'm half Croatian, so I tend to get along really well with Croatian men, but when it comes to like dating and sex, they're usually like pretty uptight and kind of like traumatized from their like really kind of fucked up Catholic childhoods. <laughs> no offense, guys, but you know what I'm talking about. Serbians. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Serbs know how to fuck. The Swedish. Swedish guys are really smart and kind and lovely. Like they come from a really good society, really educated, really lovely. 
but they're maybe a little too sensitive. Like, I like a Swedish man, but he needs to have a little bit of balls. It's like, man up, Sweden. The Danish. Jerks. Norwegians. Norwegians are nice, but at the same time, they're kind of like these rich babies, like living these like really privileged, sheltered lives. Like they just expect you to just spend money all the time on everything. And if you don't, they're like, oh, do you not have lots and lots of money? Does that mean you're poor? Persians. I find Persian men to be always really smart, really educated, and from really good families. And they're really hot with their manly, hairy chests. But they also tend to be really tied to tradition and their family. So it might be hard to like have like a relationship where you're like all gay together and stuff. <laughs> but I would love it. The Lebanese. Out of all the Arab guys, Lebanese guys are my favorite. Because they kind of have that like cocky, high class French attitude. And the food is so delicious and they're so sexy with their piercing brown eyes. I'm like, oh my god. Syrians. I love Syrians. Like when the refugee crisis was happening, I was like, welcome refugees! Welcome! I was like a one man red cross from my ass. <laughs> the Turkish. I love Turkish men, but the sex always has to be like kind of dirty and secret. It's always like in the back of an Uber or like in some dirty little smoky Turkish Berlin old man bar. Australians. They're really welcoming and friendly and hospitable and just always a good time, but maybe not the deepest of conversation. Oh yeah, mate, you wanna fuck? Israelis. You know I love Israelis. The one thing is though, I need like a nice liberal Israeli. Like I don't want one of these psycho right-wing Zionists, but if they're like manly and sexy, and if it's just for sex, I don't give a shit if I even know their name. Tell it to the Vive. Greek guys. Yes, please. Please, as much as possible, I just want to be surrounded by Greek men eating lamb and tzatziki and moussaka and we're just all there and it's so Grecian. We're all like sexy Zeus and Hercules moments. Brazilians. Brazilians are so fucking hot and they're so much fun and I just love them. I love everything about them. They just awaken this like passion inside of me and it's like, oh my God. Argentinians. I've actually never been with an Argentinian, but I think I'd enjoy it. Chileans. Oh my God, Chileans are so sweet. They're like romantic and artistic and they're really kind and lovely. I adore Chileans. So there we have it. That was my gayography. You might be thinking to yourself, wow, he's had sex with a lot of guys. Yeah, I guess I have.